stay on my grind, man, I'm doing my damn thing. It's a nerd, it's a lame, it's the Technical Swag DJ. Okay, party people, we're in the living room right now, and this is my flat screen TV in the living room. I have a Nabby 2 right here plugged up to it via HDMI, mini HDMI that is. OTG USB cable plugged into the micro USB slot. I also have a wireless keyboard mouse receiver, wireless receiver plugged into the USB OTG cable. Basically, I'm going to show you some of the GUI on the Nabby 2 KitKat. Um, this is the stripped down version that Newt kind of created and posted. So let's check it out. All right, basically you got your drop down panel, quick settings, um, you know, standard airplane mode, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, brightness, settings. Let's go into settings right now. And basically, you see, I wish I could do that on the screen, man. That's what I need. Um, let's go to About Tablet. And we're going to go to Android version. 4.4.2. Just for you. All right. And product version is 3.0. Build number KLT49H. Kernel version 3.1.10. Dirty. Okay, so um, I'm going to get back out of that. Um, you know, you got your notification panel right here. You know, you still got your recents. I'm going to close that, recents tab. Um, you know, uh, this is the Nova launcher on here, as a matter of fact. You can customize it. I really like it. You know, um, it's really cool. I actually paid for it. <laughs> so um, now, let's see. Widgets. Nova widgets are really cool too. I, I really like the Nova widgets. Um, so basically, I'm going to show you how I get down with this Logitech wireless keyboard and mouse. And we're going to start off with a little bit of YouTube. The keyboard and mouse pad pretty much works like standard, kind of like a PC. Um, escape button backs you out, you know, arrows can be used for up and down. Um, hmm. Let's see what we got in here. All right. YouTube is really responsive. It's really fast. Let's see the quality we're playing at right now. 360, 720. Jump to 720 from 360 without even missing a beat. The clarity is really good. My TV picked it up as a 720p device, so maybe that is all it can produce is 720p. Um, my TV, I know it goes higher than that, but I'm saying the Navi, I think it only goes up to 720p, which is not bad. It's a clear, pretty image. It works for me. It has worked for me. Um, YouTube works the same as it would. Pull down, swipe to the left. Uh, let's see. More of the response. Okay. Um, hmm. Wave to the people, Bella. Hi. <laughs>
So tell us about this room last night. You get another room? No. No? Oh. Go on, baby. Harry, we, we only have... Okay, so, uh, let's see. I'll just do a little bit more searching here, check out some other stuff. I mean, as you can see, everything works pretty well. Like I said, escape button will back you out. Okay, let's go to Netflix. Area 51. Pretty good movie. I liked it. As you can see, the movies start right up. There's no real hesitance. There's no lag, no jitteriness, anything like that, even in Netflix. So, I mean, all around, I must say, I'm pretty impressed so far. Um, the Nabby 2 on Jelly Bean, even after I rooted it and cleaned it, it still wasn't as responsive as it could have been. Go watch a football game with or, you know, have a beer. They're not crazy people. Regular guys. Um. Uh -huh. So that's working. So you got YouTube, Netflix, and now the brand new Popcorn Time. I think it's brand new, actually. I just heard of it. It might not be. Um, let's see what we got going on here. Let's try this. Let's see what's going to happen. It is highly recommended to use VPN to avoid unnecessary risks. Uh-oh. I don't know if I like that. Now, this basically is dependent more upon my internet connection or your internet connection, per se. Um, I've never really had any problems with Popcorn Time. Actually, I think it's a great invention. Uh, I think they work by torrents or um, actually pulling files from other... Uh, sites, I guess, video on demand sites, you know, VOD Locker, VidBulls, and things like that of that nature. Um, I will say I do have Verizon Fios now. I had Bright House, but they were like robbing us blind. It was like 90 bucks for 60 megs, and we were only getting like 30. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty ridiculous. Just to show you a little bit how popcorn time works, this is pretty much what it does. Um, I got pretty high speeds right now, one megabyte a second. I don't know what kind of uh, speed rate they have where I'm pulling it from, but uh, I really have no complaints with my Fios, man. I like it. I think we topped out, we're paying for 50 meg speed, but it's really 50, so you know I I'm good with that. And here we go, we have action. And the coolest part about the Nabby is the fact that alone from using it to watch videos and all that other stuff you can basically unplug it and use it as a tablet aside from its toyish looks it's not an Abbey 2 anymore this is a full android tablet with kid gloves <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
It's your boy, King Miko, the DJ with technical swag. Putting in my five cents. Peace. Stay on my grind, man. I'm doing my damn thing. It's a nerd, it's a lame, it's the technical swag DJ.